Hello and welcome to my channel Excel for Newbies. I am Professor Avesh Bornia. In the last video we discussed number formatting and in this video we are going to look at printing tips in Excel. If you wish to follow along please download the file in the link given below. Workbooks can be electronic but many of us need to print DSRs that is daily sales reports, MIS reports and other reports on a periodic basis. It is important to understand the basics of printing. In order to print the reports, we use Excel's print command. However, the print command has more to it that meets the eye. In order to understand what parts of the worksheet to print and other aspects of printing, we need to access the print command found in the backstage window. The backstage window can be accessed by clicking the file button on the ribbon. Under the backstage window, you have print. You click print. Here you can adjust the settings to see a preview and print your workbook all in one place. You can adjust the number of copies or take control of the finished product by clicking the options given below. You can print the active sheets only, the entire workbook or only the selection by dropping down the settings button. You can also print the entire workbook or the active worksheets only by selecting a single sheet and holding down the control key and selecting the other sheets. So I have selected Pune, Mumbai and Nagpur sheets. Once I click the print command, I can print all the three sheets. That is not what I need. I will instead print something that is more specific that is a selection. So I come into the Pune worksheet tab and I have sales figures for 100 salespeople. Let me scroll down to the bottom and show it to you. Out of these 100 salespeople, I have selected and sorted the total sales by descending order. I can print only those 40 salespeople's records by clicking the first cell and selecting the data that I want to print. After I select this data, I can navigate to the print option in the backstage window. Watch the print preview change when I change the selection to active selection. Now, I do see that the page orientation also needs to be set to a landscape instead of portrait, which it is currently in, in order to adjust more columns of data. So I will change the orientation to a landscape orientation. You can even fit all columns onto one page in the scaling option. So I can drop down the scaling option and change it to fit all columns in one page. However, sometimes this option may not be the best as the printout may not be readable. So we switch back to no scaling. You will also notice that the printout is spread across four pages. And when I scroll through those four pages, I will not be able to see the headings of those pages and along with it, the last two columns and the sales column, total sales column aren't available in the printout. Hence the printout becomes difficult to read. So let me see and show you how this problem can be fixed. I will go back to the data set and click the print titles button under the page setup menu. Under this, I will select rows to repeat at top 
and select the button besides that. The cursor changes to a selection cursor which enables me to select this first row. I will repeat the same process for columns to be repeated at left and select the first column. Now I will click OK and click the print tab once again. Now you will notice while going through the entire data set that the row and the column are being repeated. But despite that, I have certain columns that are overflowing from the data. So I will try to spread out the columns and the rows evenly across the pages. In order to do that, I will go back to the data set and switch to the page break preview by clicking on the button in the bottom right corner. The moment I change it to the page break preview, you will be able to see your data sets according to the pages. The blue lines that you see are the page breaks. I can manually adjust these page breaks to put six columns on the first page and six columns on the second. So let me adjust this page break. Similarly, I can adjust the page break to have 20 rows on one sheet and 20 rows on the other. In this manner, I will be able to have four pages and all the pages will be adjusted with equal number of rows and equal number of columns. Now let me finally go back to the print tab and check whether it has been adjusted. So I have got the first page, the second page, the third page and the fourth page which has adjusted all the names and the columns accordingly. You can also make changes to the margins of your pages manually by clicking the button on the bottom right corner, which will show you the margins for adjustment or else you can change the margins by dropping down the margins option and setting any one of these. By default, Excel uses the normal margin, but I have set it to narrow. One last aspect of printing tips is try and print your document to a PDF file before you actually print it to the printer. Now for that, you will need to drop down the printers. Now, since I don't have a printer installed, I have Nitro PDF, which is a software. I will print this file to a PDF file and you will notice how the file is going to be printed actually. I click the print command and it asks me where do I want to save it. So I will save it to the desktop and rename it to printing practice final and save it. Now it is creating a PDF which will give you an actual idea of how your data will look or how your printout will actually look like. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos and content I am sharing, please subscribe to my channel and do not be a newbie to Excel.